næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. This video is about keeping cool. Not in a mental sense, but about how to survive in the exceptionally warm weather in the last years and also in 2023. The European Space Agency predicts temperatures in Italy of 50 degrees Celsius this year. And it is not only hot in Southern Europe, but also in the North. Here in Berlin, we had 35 degrees Celsius seven days ago. How can one keep cool in warm weather? My own experience with really hot weather was when I was young and traveled by bus through the deserts in Iran. And that was hot. I do not remember the specific temperatures, but on summer days, I guess they equal the level of heat we have this summer in Europe. The trick by the inhabitants and the bus companies was for the buses to leave at 5 o'clock in the morning when the air was relatively cool, then to stop underway at around 10 o'clock when the heat was getting up. The stopping places were normally small clay and stone huts, which gave a certain protection against the strong sunshine because the stones kept cold. Here, one could even buy a cold Coca-Cola from a refrigerator driven by gas from bottles. We were far away from any electricity. I did not know, before I made the trip, that cold could come out of gas. But it can. I did not buy any colas, they were expensive, and they would be like the Danish saying, Sam in skritter I hell vid, which roughly corresponds to like a fish out of water. One Coca-Cola could not keep you cold. The bus passengers, including the driver, were sitting in the hut until 5 o'clock in the afternoon when it was starting to get cool again. Then the trip could proceed. I can recommend this method also in the European heat. Do not go out in the middle of the day. Sit indoors. Cover your windows, not only with blinds, but with a dark and heavy cloth to keep the sun rays outside. I did that since the beginning of June. One can also install reflective or blackout curtains on windows that receive direct sunlight. These curtains can help block out the heat and keep the indoor temperature cooler. Another idea is to ventilate at night. If the outdoor temperature drops at night, open windows and use fans to bring in cooler air. This can help lower the indoor temperature before the day heats up again. Just like the stone and clay huts in the desert kept the night cold in the stones, the stones of my old and heavily built stone house where I have my flat. So, at night you cool down the stones. Keep the windows wide open. And during the day, you close the windows and sit behind your heavy curtains and let the stones cool you down. In this game, I have one of these electronic thermometers, which projects the time, inside temperature, and outside temperature, coming from a small sender outside, to my ceiling, so I can watch it also at night. And when I see, that the outside temperature is lower than the inside temperature, it is time to get up and open as many windows as possible. This shift only takes place late in the evening. And coming back to the stone and clay huts in the Iranian desert, if you have a cellar deep down under your house, it will be cool there. If possible, you could decide to bring a camping bed down there and sleep there. There will be no irritating sun. And it will be nice and cool. An obvious idea is natural to use fans to cool yourself as the man in the picture. I even saw a woman in a tram, one of these days having a handheld electric ventilator to keep her cool. An even more obvious idea is to get yourself an air conditioning system. But they are often expensive, and I, for instance, am not allowed to install them in my rented flat. But here is something between fans and real air conditioning. These are so-called dehumidifiers, which, as the word says, make the air in the room have a lower percentage of moisture in it. But together with an inbuilt fan, it feels very much like an air conditioner. A more primitive version of that is placing a bowl of ice in front of a fan to create a do-it-yourself air conditioner or using damp towels to cool yourself down. Take cool showers or baths. A refreshing cool shower or bath can temporarily lower your body temperature and provide relief from the heat. Use cooling products. Consider using cooling products like cooling towels and gel pads. Cooling your bed. Use cooling mattress pads or toppers to help keep your bed cool at night. Chilled gel packs can also be placed in the freezer and then slipped under the sheets to provide additional cooling. Thank you for watching this video.
I hope you will stay cool in 2023 and in the coming hot years. Cool, both in a mental sense and in the sense of keeping down your temperature in your close environment. 